Bookings with me is an included feature of the Microsoft 365 education account, and now it is turned on for Plano ISD. If you have a position where you need people to arrange times to meet with you, instead of going back and forth in an email, why don't you set up a booking page? Starting from your calendar in Microsoft 365, you would go down to where it says, go to my booking page. Once you open that up, you'll see your own personal booking page. And there are two types of bookings that you can create, public ones that will appear on your public booking page or private bookings, those that only people who have the link will be able to view. To create a brand new booking, you would click on the plus sign. You can choose either one depending on what you would like. If you want to be public, you would click on this public, uh, the plus sign for public. If you want it private, click on the plus sign next to private. I'm going to choose public. Then you would put in a title for your meeting. And if you would like to add in a category, that just changes the color. You can add in a more detailed description. Put in a location, whether that is a particular building, your office, or if you want to make it virtual, leave this toggle on for it to be a Teams meeting. Then you would choose the duration, whether you want meetings to last up to 15, 30, 45, one hour, or even give it a custom time. If you decided that you did want to make this private, this is where you, you would have the ability to make that change. But I'm going to keep this as public for now. And then you're going to customize your schedule. You can use either your regular meeting hours that you already have preset. If you would like to see what your preset hours are, you would click on this link that says see regular meeting hours. and your meeting hour would be located here. If you would like to change your meeting hours, you can do so at this time, but I'm not going to do that. Click on advanced options to give you even more control over how you want your bookings to look. You have the ability to buffer the time before your meeting so that means the meetings won't be like in a row, boom, 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 boom. You can buffer it so that it'll give you however many minutes that you want between meetings, uh, before the meeting, and then how much time you want after the meeting as a buffer. You can also limit the start time to 30 minute intervals or more or less. You can also set the minimum lead time to be one hour, so that means you would need at least one hour before somebody would book an appointment with you. Um, but you can also change that to whatever you like and even make it custom. And maximum lead time means that 90 days is what the default is, which means that is how far in advance someone is able to make an appointment with you, but you can change this to whatever you like. If you don't want to use regular meeting hours, you do have the ability to click on this drop down and use some custom availability hours. You can also customize it to the point where it's only during the following range. So like this is t-test. So let's say that um, only during the months of April and May, am I going to be um, having this booking? I can set the start and the end date. Once you are done with everything, you would click on save. And the way to share it out to whomever you like, you can do a few things. One, you can click on this top share drop down to share your entire booking page. You can copy the link, you can email, 
and you can even add it to your email signature. Or, like in this case, this is a t-test summative review. I'm going to click on the more options, copy the link, and then I can share that with my team. And that is how you use bookings with me. Enjoy.